Imagine a world where everyone, no matter how remote, has fast, reliable internet. A student in a mountain village can attend a virtual class taught by a professor across the globe. A doctor in a small island clinic consults with a specialist in a major city to save a life. This is the promise of satellite internet. For billions, traditional internet infrastructure is out of reach, too expensive or impossible to install. Satellite internet bridges this digital divide by beaming connectivity directly from space, using constellations of small satellites in low Earth orbit. A user's dish connects to these satellites which relay signals to ground stations and the global internet. This technology brings high-speed access to the world's most isolated corners, transforming education, healthcare, and economic opportunity. When disasters strike and ground networks fail, satellite internet becomes a lifeline for first responders and communities. Fast, reliable connections are crucial, not just for streaming but for telemedicine, online learning and business. As we look to the stars we're looking at the future of global communication, a quest to connect all of humanity. The race to build the best satellite network is about leveling the playing field, ensuring location no longer limits opportunity. The rise of massive satellite constellations marks a leap forward in our ability to share knowledge and build a more interconnected world. When it comes to satellite internet, Starlink is the name that changed everything. Operated by SpaceX, Starlink revolutionized the industry by deploying thousands of small satellites in low Earth orbit, slashing the lag that plagued older systems. With over 6,000 satellites, Starlink became the world's largest satellite operator, delivering broadband to millions in dozens of countries. It brought fast, usable internet to rural families, researchers in Antarctica, and even conflict zones. The user-friendly Dishy McFlatface terminal made setup simple for anyone. Starlink speeds, often 150 to 200 megabits per second, were a huge leap over previous satellite tech and rural DSL. But rapid growth brought challenges, network congestion, concerns about space debris and regulatory hurdles in some countries. Despite these, Starlink's dominance seemed unshakable, until a new state-backed competitor emerged with astonishing speed and ambition. The satellite internet race was about to get a lot more interesting. Enter China's Guawang. While Starlink built its empire, China was quietly preparing its own game-changing entry, Guowang, or National Network. Backed by the Chinese government, Guowang is a strategic priority, on par with 5G and AI. The goal, a sovereign, state-of-the-art satellite network free from reliance on foreign providers. Guowang plans a mega-constellation of about 13,000 satellites rivaling Starlink's scale. Unlike Starlink's private model, Guowang is a coordinated national effort, leveraging China's industrial might and rapid development. The system uses a fleet of low-Earth orbit satellites to deliver low-latency, high-speed internet worldwide. But China isn't just copying Starlink, it's aiming to leapfrog it, building in next-gen tech from the start. Guowang is central to China's space ambitions and global outreach, especially through the Belt and Road Initiative. By offering a powerful, state-backed alternative, China seeks to connect developing nations and expand its influence. The dragon has entered the race, and it's roaring. How did Guowang achieve speeds up to five times faster than Starlink? The answer cutting-edge technology. Guowang satellites use laser inter-satellite links, beams of light that transmit massive amounts of data between satellites, reducing delays and reliance on ground stations. The network leverages the K-band, a high-frequency superhighway for data, and advanced phased array antennas for precise, powerful signals. China's AI-powered traffic management system predicts congestion and reroutes data in real time, keeping speeds high and latency low. The result, a network that, by early 2025, delivers gigabit per second download speeds, five times Starlink's average. This leap enables seamless 8K streaming, instant downloads and even future tech like holographic calls or large-scale VR. Guowang's tech isn't just an upgrade, it's a quantum leap. The combination of lasers, advanced frequencies and AI makes Guowang a formidable force in the satellite internet race. The world is witnessing a new standard for global connectivity, the bar has been raised. Guowang's technology is matched by the speed of its deployment. Building a 13000 satellite constellation is a colossal task, but China's launch campaign is relentless. Using its Long March rockets China ramped up launches in late 2023, sending dozens of satellites into orbit each month. By early 2025, over 1,200 Guowang satellites were operational, far ahead of expectations. 
China aims for over 100 orbital launches in 2025, many dedicated to Guowang. The process is streamlined, satellites are mass-produced, integrated onto rockets and launched in rapid succession. This state-driven, highly coordinated effort contrasts with the slower commercial pace of other ventures. China's assembly line for space has quickly built a celestial great wall in orbit. Guowang's rapid rise has allowed it to catch up, and in some ways, surpass, Starlink in technology and regional reach. The global satellite internet landscape has changed in just a few years. Guowang's real-world test came in Bolivia in mid-2025, after the Bolivian government suspended Starlink for regulatory reasons, a vacuum was created. Bolivia quickly signed a deal with Guawang, deepening its ties with China and opening the door for a new era of connectivity. Within weeks, Guawang terminals appeared in rural schools, hospitals and government offices. Users reported a dramatic improvement, gigabit speeds, flawless video lessons and instant downloads. For remote clinics, doctors could send large medical files instantly. For students, education became seamless. The Bolivian switch was a powerful demonstration of Guowang's performance and China's ability to deliver fast, state-backed solutions. It sent a clear message to developing nations, there's a new powerful alternative in the satellite internet market. Guowang's success in Bolivia became a case study in both technology and geopolitical strategy. The world took notice, the race was now truly global. Bolivia's move signaled a new era of fierce global competition. Starlink, a symbol of American innovation, now faces Guowang, the product of Chinese state strategy. This isn't just about speed, it's a contest for control over the world's digital infrastructure. Many developing nations, especially those aligned with China's Belt and Road, find Guowang's package of tech, investment and diplomatic support attractive. China markets Guowang as a tool for shared development, challenging Starlink's first-mover advantage. The U.S. and its allies warn of data security and surveillance risks with a Chinese-controlled network. Elon Musk dismissed Bolivia's decision as political, highlighting the deep rivalry. The competition now plays out in labs, launch pads, and government halls worldwide. Countries must choose the established American tech or the newer, faster, state-backed Chinese system, with all the political implications. The world's digital future may split along these lines, a digital iron curtain in the sky, Starlink isn't backing down from the Guowang challenge. SpaceX is accelerating upgrades, launching more powerful V2 mini and upcoming V3 satellites with advanced laser links to boost speed and capacity. The V3 satellites expected in late 2025 are designed to close the performance gap and reduce congestion. Starlink is also working to secure regulatory approvals worldwide, emphasizing its economic benefits and independence from government control. The Bolivia episode was a wake-up call. Technical superiority isn't enough. Navigating geopolitics is crucial. Starlink aims to prove it's a reliable apolitical partner for nations wary of Chinese influence. Competition with Guowang is pushing SpaceX to innovate faster, streamline production, and leverage its Starship rocket for mass satellite deployment. The goal, not just to match Guowang, but to leapfrog it. The race is far from over. Starlink is fighting to maintain its leadership in the skies the next moves will shape the future of global connectivity. In mid-2025, we're witnessing a new space race, not to the moon, but to connect every human on Earth. The starlink Guowang rivalry is driving rapid innovation, faster satellites, smarter networks, and more efficient launches. For consumers, this means better service, lower prices, and wider access. The benefits are huge precision agriculture, global scientific collaboration, and a truly connected Internet of Things. But challenges loom, space debris, traffic management, and the risk of a fractured, splinternet world. Keeping space safe and open will require new international cooperation. The competition will only intensify, with new players from Europe, India, and Amazon's Project Kuiper joining the fray. The story of satellite internet is just beginning, a tale of human ingenuity and global ambition. The next decade will decide who leads this revolution and how we use this power to shape our world. The future of global connectivity is being written in the stars.